Hello, good morning. Welcome to my garden. My name is Heidi. I would say my style of gardening is compulsive, eclectic, cottage garden style. <laughs> I kind of hunt down prey <laughs> garden plants. <laughs> in garden centre clearance areas and then I find a home for them and sometimes it works sometimes they look amazing and then sometimes it goes a little bit wrong and I have to have a rethink and my rethink is the pond <laughs> we have the good so this end is good it's not perfect the tree fern's been beautiful the maples have been beautiful but they get scorched and they struggle and then we have the bad the bad was the daisies they just didn't work here in this back corner they just irritated me more than added beauty to this area so I've cut them down to the ground um, and I'm gonna dig them out the ugly Look at this front bit, where the plastic heron is. <laughs> I mean, what's it doing? It's so narrow. Let me go the other side. We're going to look closely at it. So first off, the edging stones are beautiful. They're Victorian and they are gorgeous. And we dug them up in this garden. And then we have a very dramatically dying hosta that's been eaten alive. So that can come out. And then in there, there are some plants that are little stars, like the Judah. There was a massive foxglove here. There's quite a lot of um, forget-me-nots. And there's some azaleas. There is a dying buxus. We have got some maples here that were just dumped in just to keep them alive. Um, and it is really ugly. And I don't think it's the right shape for this pond. So I am going to take, I'll take a picture here. So on that picture, you can see I've overlaid a line of where I'm gonna bring the border out to. And I'm gonna make it really wide and I'm going to put cottage plants in there, including the ones that are at the other side of the pond just over summering <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same this side so when am I going to do that you say well it's on my list to do the pond for 2025 so I'm going to do it today and you can join me for that journey hang around and watch the rest of this video I'll take you through it step by step show you the plants that are going in here You'll have a bit of speeded up footage, which hopefully um, will not be too boring for you. It's absolutely drizzly and rainy and muggy. But I'm ready for it. Let me show you the plants. Come with me. I'm going to walk you to it because in the last video, but one, this was the area we worked on together. And that was getting the beds wider coming up onto the lawn and they've taken really well really pleased with that still missing a couple of bricks but the plants have done really well in there and we've got quite a lot of new green growth coming on that beautiful dauphinium i planted so here's that border laid out on my table and we have got some chocolate cosmos which I need to buy about another two off a small compact verbena valencia daffiniums euphorbias some compact little daisy plants there I'll get the name for those and add that in because I've forgotten Hidcut lavenders more of the um, aces and we've also got the French lavenders. So those are gonna sit into that area that I've just shown you. Added to that, I have got
daylilies. I really want to get into daylilies. After watching Gardener's World the other day, I think they're going to sit beautifully in this garden. And then I've got the most gorgeous perennial foxglove that was given to me at a garden I visited just the other day. And it's got lots of seeds on it and it's white and it's going to fit in with my white and blue theme for the pond. So I'm going to make a cup of tea, hope that this rain goes over and then I'm going to crack on with the pond. I'm currently wearing a summer dress and it's gone a little bit chilly now so I'm probably going to change into my jodhpurs and yeah, get digging. Lots of red ants in here, um, which is why I put the gloves on. Anyway, let's take a step back and look at where we've got to. <laughs> so, so hot, sweltering. I already think this makes a huge difference. So the pond is very rectangular and it just needs to have its edges broken up and I failed miserably with that. Hence why we're doing the pond project. I should have left enough room here for David to run the mower around and I will make this transition into this border more seamless. But I feel like this is doing what I want it to do was when you come to the pond, you're going to walk between the borders and then look into the pond. Not bad for about an hour's work.
So when it comes to spring, I will tuck some more perennials into this area, um, unless I find them in and around the garden. Um, and yeah, I think it looks so much better. Let me take a step back. Hopefully you guys agree, but it's kind of making the pond into a circle. I'm tackling this side tomorrow. I'm so hot. <laughs> I am dripping hot. It is so humid today. But let me show you what I've done. This, one, this border is slowly filling up um, and I'll give it a good feed. And then this border, I've got most of the edging in place. The lawn has been dug up. I'm gonna move these stepping stones out of it. And I've just put a few plants in for placement, but I've got a weed through this back bit here um yeah i'm gonna get some more mulch and i'm gonna get some more compost and then stepping back so that video was shot about four days ago and here we are i've moved the stepping stones out and the plants are in it's been raining constantly since so they've had a really good water one of the daylilies is in flower and I'm really pleased with this side of the pond. I just now need to repeat it on the far side. But that's enough for me. Please click like and subscribe to follow this channel. Thank you very much and have a beautiful weekend.